Hey guys, this is Enphase, and I just thought I should make a video to just show you uh, some of the things that you should expect in the next update for the Omnia HD i8910. So this firmware that I'm running is uh, the XXIL3. So I understand there are versions of the firmware that are above this one, but you know this has most of the features that you'll see in the upcoming update. So I just thought I should make a quick video to demo some of these features. So the first thing that I'm going to demo is kinetic scrolling, which is one of the bigger updates. So I'll do this in the help menu because it works really well there and I'm expecting it to work just as well in the final release. So as you can see, it's really, really smooth and it works flawlessly. You know, the, the way you'd expect it, you can scroll, stop things, depending on how fast you scroll, how fast you flick, it moves um, with the appropriate speed. Um, there's also kinetic scrolling within the context menus or the pop-up menus, as you can see. So pretty much all of them have this the same uh, bounce effect in the, in the little menus there. Another thing that you'll notice is uh, some new effects and improved performance. Uh, like just launching things it's it's a lot faster now and exiting and you'll notice that um, when you press when you select menus for example they dim to a dark color so that's like a new effect um, not sure if I clearly demoed it here but um, it kind of fades to black and then you jump into whatever menu it is so that's one of the smaller um, effects that's there um, in the gallery, there's also kinetic scrolling, but um, it doesn't work as well as you'd expect it to. But, you know, this is not the final version of the firmware, so I'm expecting um, Samsung is going to fix uh, some of these problems. Uh, there's a problem with the sidebar, as you can see. Like, it just, it doesn't work anymore. As you can see, you can scroll up and down, but there's, there's a whole lot more. And it just kind of jumps from one thing to another. So I, they're going to fix that obviously uh, before the next update. The update uh, and the scrolling isn't that smooth as well. I have, I have my first generation iPod Touch here, which is about uh, maybe two years old, and scrolling here is is much much faster, you know. And this is two years old, and it's using um, inferior hardware to the i8910. But you know, you can see there's a huge difference so Samsung has said when I asked them about this during the meeting they said that they're working on an update for this they're working on new algorithms to improve this kind of this kinetic scrolling so expect that to be fixed by the next update or if not uh, the updates to come another thing that's been updated is the web browser so I'll just jump into the web browser right now um, they included uh, kinetic scrolling as had been seen in other firmware versions like the Chinese version so I'll just go to um, New York Times website so I, I should be able to demonstrate some of the new things that you should expect so yep there we go so first of all it just pops into full screen mode as soon as it finishes loading whatever page it is and of course there's kinetic scrolling as you can see and it works it works really well um, of course there's still this is not the final version so it probably will be smoother you still have that um, same zooming um, thingy and you know a little preview and it, it works okay it works okay Another thing they didn't mention in the update is the improvement in the camera speed. So if I launch it, um, it's it's much faster than it was. Um, you know, you can you can take photos a lot faster, and uh, you can adjust more settings. So I, uh, it's it's an an improvement over what it was before, and. Uh, yeah, I think that, that about wraps it up for the update. Uh, there are lots of other little minor things that they've also done to the UI. And, you know, the performance is just better than it was before. So a lot of those changes you'll be seeing for yourselves in the update. And it should come out sometime um, later this month. 
I also downloaded a couple of applications that uh, that show the future possibilities. I got these um, these from uh, the QT website, Nokia QT, um, which is one of the things I suggested in the report. So these are demo applications of of what QT can do. So this is called the Hyper UI um, example. So it, it's got your time here, and then it's got this menu button. Then you kind of slide it up, and then you can, you know, it's it's really cool. Um, of course, this this is just a demo, and it doesn't really do much, but um, it just shows you like how much, how far this device can go if they implement Qt, and it's running right on top of Symbian, right on top of the operating system. There are a couple of other applications as well, um, like the weather here that I got. It's also a Qt application. Um, it uses, it actually makes use of your, your wireless network and you can scroll through the cities and stuff like that. Um, and it's, it's really, really neat. And I'm hoping to see more of these kind of applications coming for, for the i8910. Um, I also have a couple of uh, applications from the PowerVR SDK. This is the famous mountain view that we all know of um, that was shown in early uh, February of 2009 um, that shows the graphical power of the i8910 so you can see some of the, the filters that can be used and um, you can play around with it so I have links to download all the applications that I have here um, there are heaps and heaps of applications that um, I downloaded and um, you can get them some of them are made by Samsung some are, you know, these these applications that are made by uh, PowerVR, and I mean, this so far, this is as close as we can get to making use of the hardware that's on this device. It's really amazing what this device can do, but you know, there there isn't much that's that's being done to make use of these features and stuff. Um, you also note, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this, but uh, the kinetic scrolling is not in all menus. Like it's, it's not here. You have to use the bar again. It's, it's gone. Of course, it, this effect is always there. This kind of slide effect, but it's not kinetic scrolling. So it, there's a bit of inconsistency there. Uh, they'll probably keep trying to uh, put kinetic scrolling in as many places as possible. But um, yeah, they're just couple of, of hiccups here and there. Um, there are also some programs from Samsung Mobile Innovator that I have here. Um, I'll just demonstrate one of them. Again, uh, I put the links to download these in the description. So this is the uh, percussion. So it, you can make different sounds with the i8 and i10. So yeah, I, I just included these to just, you know, for completeness, like just to show the potential of these, this device. And um, I really do hope that Samsung implements a lot of these into the, into the uh, A910. So lastly, if you're looking for a web browser that can, the best web browser for S60 out there, S65 edition, uh, I think Opera Mobile is just miles ahead of Symbian and it's free this this is the new beater that I just downloaded and it works really really well it's got kinetic scrolling and everything you know and it's a it's a full browser it works really really well kinetic scrolling galore and um, yeah it, uh, you know it, of course it doesn't have flash support which is the big issue but a lot of the applications that I have in here are free and they're must-haves uh, things like Google Maps, YouTube, and AccuWeather, and things like that. They're really great applications, and um, if you're interested in these, I've put links for all these in the um, in the downloads page on the description. So just check these out, and you know you can play around with these for now, whilst we wait for more updates from Samsung. So um, this is in phase. Um, signing out. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, please comment. Uh, I'm going to keep on updating stuff on my blog. And yeah, it's been a great journey. All right. Cheers.